I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 11th to the 17th of May and I'm using the Vice Versa deck, the Wildwood Tarot deck and the um, Animal sp uh, Spirit Oracle deck and I'm also using the Surrender deck and you're the last one for today that I'm going to do because it's full getting dark now so then you can't see the cards anymore I hope you're all well and safe and welcome back to my cyber angels and welcome to the new viewers please subscribe and hit the bell then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are loaded up there's loads of great things coming and if you're new here you might like to know that there is a series and it's about um, what do witches do and we're talking about healings and about uh, uh, all kinds of things to do with uh, witches but why uh, what why are the witches why do they have to have a name because there are other people that uh, have herbs and work with herbs as well and are also healers like homeopathists uh, reflexologists um, herbalists so if you're interested go and have a look at the uh, uh, series about the Dutch witch Wendy and also and we're going to start now uh, you'll find more information below this video and also if you click on this circle here in the screen then you'll be <coughs> guided through to the website and there you can find more information like interviews, reviews of decks, um, also the other side the life coach thing uh, I, I talk about uh, life coach things and whiplash and I want to go and get into that as well the first card you have is death that's the one side of it and it looks really uh, like a robot the horse or that he's risen from the death and this is um, they're more or less the same meaning uh, death isn't necessary a real death it just means transformation now here you see two men the alchemist sitting and the merchant and um, the uh, merchant is uh, uh, holding on to a lotus and uh, sorry the mer merchant is holding on to uh, what you call it uh, the lily and the alchemist is holding on to a, uh, a lotus and you can see a girl dancing in the background she's gone through the um, angel doorway the two pillars that I'm always on about that looks like a number 11 she's dancing happily and freely she's getting uh, an, an, an other chance and at perfecting when you see it this way it is a warning that a transformation or a death is imminent and you are asked to prove yourself this side you have proved yourself you're worth that new beginning you're worth being the butterfly wow a new beginning and this is um, supported by the nine of arrows no more sleepless nights as this is the nine of swords okay an ending new beginnings big time you might feel out of sorts though or you might feel left out from by family friends or a group at work well don't worry my darling because you might get a new job that could be the beginning or you might be starting uh, by yourself so don't worry here you are somebody's feeling left out and here they're absolutely desperate but they don't realize that they are sitting by a church window right and that means that there is help from institutions there is help from municipalities you all all you have to do is ask don't shy away to ask don't be ashamed of it and that's one way of looking at it and another way is you can always join another group an other club perhaps you're feeling despondent because the clubs are closed uh, because of the coronavirus 
Perhaps they're closed at the moment and you're feeling depressed and upset because you can't see your friends. So that is why you're feeling left out. But there is a new beginning coming, so don't worry. Things are opening up again. Then you've got the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, the Ten of Pentacles means happy home life. So there you are. You are you can go and see the family again. You don't have to be despondent or depressed. There will be reunions, perhaps an inheritance, perhaps a gift, perhaps a promotion with the Ten of uh, Pentacles. Okay, the house, you might even buy a house. Woo, now everybody can go out and enjoy themselves again. Yes, and the, the shops and offices will be opening, so perhaps you might buy a house. Now that you've got the money, the banks are open again, you can go to the bank and get that mortgage or that real estate loan, uh, or you might be getting married and moving in together first of all and getting married. You've got the Four of Wands, happy celebrations with family and friends, big time for you Leo, wow. Then you've got the King of Arrows and that could be this is quite a shine on that water, although it is dark. Look at it. It's just water. It's the King of uh, Water. No, sorry, the King of Swords. So you, the King of Swords is Gemini, of course, but don't exclude Libra or Aquarius. Okay, you might be getting involved, Leo, with an air sign. It could be a Gemini. Ooh, celebrations in the bedroom, big time. You know that the um, the air signs are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, unpredictable and excited and spontaneous. So with a Gemini, you've got more than one person. Also with a Libra, because that's also a jewel sign in the bedroom. That could be on Friday. That's coming to daylight. Ooh, it's Friday, it's weekend time again, and you are celebrating. You've got the Three of Cups. Here, the Goddess is gi uh, giving thanks with friends and family, and here, just with friends. Okay, she's giving her thanks and gratitude, and here she, it's, uh, uh, sorry, I've got that wrong. Here, she's celebrating with friends and family. Here she's on her own and she's saying thank you to the goddess and the stars and the divine and it is advice to celebrate with family and friends. And here we have the four of pentacles. So it's upside down. Don't be stingy. Don't hold back on the money. Now is the time to celebrate big time okay you've got two cards the four of wands is weddings and celebrations or and I mean the three of cups so it's don't hold back on money spend it you can only spend it once so make sure that the family reunion is really happening you've got the money by all means because you've got the ten of pentacles new beginnings endings boom 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 I love it I love it I don't think you're going to get married though but I think you're going to get advice this could be a mortgage on a house these this is marriage but these two cards also represents houses buying a house so I think you're going to get um, advice from a lawyer or a bookkeeper to see how you can do it like this baby you don't know perhaps it's a first time buy you have to learn it he's holding the key you're holding the key wow and look what you've got you've got the t um the two of cups you've met your soulmate awesome yeah big time celebrations this is the hierophant the high priest and you're seeing the back so i don't think you're getting married yet you're you i think you are going to get married in the future um but it could be in a four weeks or four months time because it takes a long time to prepare but I think you're going to go for the house first move in together you don't want to be felt left out again I think that's what you've learned um, that you don't want to be away from your loved ones yes 
and again you've got the death card okay again celebrations wow you've got the death card you're in a transformational period wow here's a new beginnings you know, this is the death card positivity and beauty and celebrations and the last card uh, Leo you've got the Amarillo the Amarillo and it's number three so you're creative set healthy boundaries learning to set healthy like the baby where's the baby here you've got the key in your own hand okay Leo set learn and set healthy boundaries is the gift of the Amarillo spirit you are enter entering a phase where in other in in order for you to be in alignment with your intentions and co-create your best life you may have to be discerning and say no to many things that may have been okay for you in the past this also means that you need to learn where you end and where you uh, end and where others begin and in other words you have to also learn that you don't want to be left on your own in such a situation as we've had the last three or four months but you want to be with your family and friends okay what is yours to own and what is not so are you going to get a house? Is that for you to own? Wow! Know your limits and understand that it's an empowering choice to say no to what doesn't feel right. Amarillo Spirit is here to tell you it's time to be honest with yourself about what you really want. Be clear on what you are agreeing to. Declare that your needs are and say no as a full sentence there are acts of respect and kindness to others as well as to yourself trust your body's signals your intuitiveness of, in other words and you will know that what then you will know what to do Amarillo spirit guides you in making good decisions that are, are grounded in a strong sense of what belongs to you and what doesn't wow I love this card beautiful surrender to creativity let your imagination soar stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem there you go ask advice Do -do 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 you're holding the key okay well Leo I hope you've enjoyed this reading and I hope to see you in the life and uh, or meet you in the life and if not in the next video I hope you like like it and I hope you will give me the thumbs up and share with family and friends I hope you have fantastic celebrations go for it let me know what the celebrations are Ciao, ciao, stay safe and be blessed.